Hi, it's been a while. Uh, been preparing the side frames. Um, the frames obviously have a multi-purpose thing. They, they hang the radiators, various anything, anything external to the chassis gets hanged off them, battery, etc., etc. Um, but also they have to hold the bodywork up. <coughs> so the latches for the front here, latches for the rear there, they get all their strength basically from the aluminium frames. Uh, it's a few minor additions. I've kind of varied from how the original was, but to be honest, the take off car is different, so it doesn't make much difference. Um, I've added an aero profile here. Uh, if you can actually see, I mean, it's hard to tell, but that is actually a full aero profile. It's pretty thin at the back to thick there. It's actually a wing stay for a uh, um, old school airplane. They normally attach the bottom of the body up to the outside of the wing, so it's normally a piece that's kept in tension. Um, but pretty much it's great for a what is now as a, a handle to allow it to be easy, ease of exit. I'm trying to make this thing easier than it would be normally to get in and out. It's a very small space to have to get into. I'm trying not to make it to have to stand on the seat. It's kind of the default way of doing it, but um, I'm going to try and avoid that. So, <coughs> so yeah, frames attached to the chassis in one, two, three, four places on the rear. Also just one place on the front. Don't have to worry about any load this way because most of the load is going to be down. So those loads going to be down on there. Um, there's a step that goes between the two. Um, originally did do a, a checker step but yeah it kind of looks a bit tacky so <clears throat> i'm going to go back to without without the checker plate top i'm telling you i'm going to grind that one off it's just uh going to grind it off the frame it's just as, just as quick to be honest it's just to uh, uh knock another one up it takes about an hour to do that it's not too bad um pretty much the radiator top position here is fixed um and then this plate here with the other two radiator supports actually bolts in. So you lift the radiator position and then bolt that in from there. Uh, radiator is at least fully rubber mounted, so <coughs> uh, won't be having any problems with that, as they say. Now the frames itself, just as a, a rough reference, I've, I've kept them about an inch away from the bodywork. Um, it would have been nicer for the radiator, say, to push it out a little bit, but to be honest, um, the amount of bodywork adjustment that's going to be needed. I really didn't want the frame to touch the bodywork, so I've kept it in from an inch from where I think the body's going to be to give me plenty of room to, to adjust it. Oh, here's the, here's the step, obviously, without a top plate, which we can... Whoop, there we go. We can stand on without too much trouble. Bounce something down. There you go. <coughs> um, it's made out of inch and a half by inch. C channel and some obviously one inch box like the rest of the frame, but a couple of bits of C channel to, to make it a little bit stronger. <laughs> bolted into the side there, bolted into the top there. Now you can see extra mounting points around the outside of here, there, 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 there. There's one here, there's one there. Ah, needless to say, there's 18 inserts in those pieces, so that's 36 inserts plus. Yeah, I ended up close to 40, 42 damn inserts of that to um, machine tap and put into it. <coughs> now, this isn't all the frame. Technically, as you can imagine, there's a bit of a bodywork between the wheel and the rest of the arch. But this panel that's actually here where the exhaust exit is, I'm thinking originally is, is, a, is actually a metal panel. It's not actually a fiberglass like the rest of the car. Um, I've seen that on a couple of vehicles. But either way around, it's going to bolt it to here and here. We'll make an extension piece, um, an extension piece that will come down from that to here, just to give, it, give that a bit of height support. And then we'll probably tee in here where the wheel arch is back up to the frame, just to give it a bit of extra, <coughs> um, extra protection. Obviously here itself, we'll also um, have the rear body catch. So we'll have a plate that comes off of that to the catch, just to make sure um, Make sure we're not going to be tugging on fiberglass, we're going to be tugging on the frames. But yeah, you get the idea now of where the radiators and everything else sit. Should have thrown the radiators in, shouldn't I? Oh well, no matter. 
so yeah, side frames getting there. Um, they are morphing, there's still a little bit some boots and do. Unfortunately, I've run out of gas, I've run out of argon this afternoon, so there's, there's two pieces in here that's missing, there's a diagonal there and a small horizontal on this side, but it is Sunday afternoon, so not much chance of getting any gas at this point. So. But the frames are at least pretty close. Um, uh, now I haven't got the gas, then basically I'll start making up the, the body hangers. So basically where the body sits on here, I'll just come up and come back at 90 degrees. It allows me to adjust the body in situ, and then I can slot the holes a little bit if it needs to move over, down a bit, whatever else. And if, I'm, if, it's, if I have to slot it too far, then I'll just make another bracket. It's just simple, just a bent piece of uh, aluminium. Nice and simple, but it does allow me to modify the body in every which way just to make sure everything fits um, it's going to be a lot of that in the very near future now <coughs> um, pretty much that's most of the frames for the car done now there is one piece that sticks out the front of the car but technically that's a, a crush structure uh, so I can't say to be a huge amount additional to that I said is this these two pieces will extend on the side um, the joining plate that I've just sort of temporarily thrown a piece of aluminium plate on there to join the two halves together. Um, <coughs> looking at a few of the cars, they are actually uh, screwed together there so they can come apart. Now, uh, I don't know whether to keep that theme or whether I'm going to bond it in solid. Um, might be a good idea to keep that theme. So um, what I'm tempted to do is to put a and instead of 16 gauge or a 60 thou thick plate there, I'll probably put a uh, 100 thou thick plate there and drill and tap uh, the difference between the sill and there and actually mount and screw that in. So um, we might actually end up with a, with a frame there, a little bit smaller than this, not quite so not quite so gaudy. We'll probably have an inch either side of the piece. They say this piece isn't here. Yes, anyway, so that's me blabbing on. <coughs> Um, if I have any other news, I'll uh, let you know. Oh, yeah, the shock absorbers are in Canada, um, so they should be here hopefully within the week. Just clearing customs at the moment. Steering rack's now paid for, so technically that's on its way. And had a finally had a quote for this fuel cell, um, and that's actually it actually was a lot cheaper than I thought it would be to be honest. Um, so I'm getting somebody else to do the cell. It speeds things up a bit, so it's one less thing I'm going to have to do. It'll probably take me a few weeks to do that. Um, <coughs> so, my labour or somebody else's labour, it's probably not going to cost a huge amount different if you in include some hours for me. Um, so, realistically, I should have the fuel still, the shock absorbers, and the steering rack here, hopefully within, uh, hopefully by the end of next month. So, that should all be on the car and then we're really big push to get the body done right <clears throat> speak to you all soon bye